the morning vlog, I decided I think I'm gonna vlog today because I'm off work. <coughs> and today is the 23rd of November, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, yesterday was my last day of work. On Friday, we leave for New York City for a trip to visit my mom and Chris and to explore New York. Anyway, I'm making breakfast. If you saw, we just fed the dogs breakfast. They're a little bit mad because I'm trying to um, enrich their lives by making it harder to eat. So I put baby's, half a baby's meal in a Tupperware. It'll be worth it though when she's less energetic because she didn't just eat out of bowl. Let's see how she's doing. Oh, she's trying. Good girl. Yeah, you're gonna probably destroy that, but that's okay. She figured it out last week we did this one. Tank. This is a Barklock Super Chewer. I just put some of his dry food in there. And it's like a super chewer, and he did all of that in like 30 minutes when we gave it to him last. So he likes that thing. Alright guys, it is now almost 10 a.m. The World Cup is on in the back, if that's what you're hearing. Um, just took the dogs on a walk and cleaned up the kitchen real quick. I have some more today. I'm going to do some chores, but I'm also going to relax. I also got some things I want to get done. Like, I want to make a garland of the oranges that I dried out the last two weeks. I still haven't done that, but I'm going to relax right now and wait for Walmart to come. Because we placed a small order and um, just basically to get eggs and cheese. And then I think I put... Um, one other thing in there but we have walmart plus so they're gonna deliver it and i had to place order last night because you can only do it so many hours in advance and they just told me they didn't even have eggs so the whole point of me not having to go to the store i'm gonna have to go to the store but whatever so i'm gonna do that and yeah all right vlog you see here well it's already 11 something and I'm already hungry for lunch, so I got the oven warming up, you know, this is a eventful day, but I'm finally trying to make some garland with my oranges, and it's not looking how it looked on Pinterest, but does anything look how it looked on Pinterest? I'm just using this twine that I have, and I'm just tying the oranges on, and I'm going to see how it looks. I think I'm going to do multiple if I have enough. And then on the other ones, I'm gonna tie in some like of this stuff, pine needles, and I also have some like magnolia leaves outside. So we'll see how this goes. But so far, this is all I got. I don't know if it's too sparse. Well, we'll see. I don't know about you, but this pizza looks pretty gross. So I don't know. I hate. <laughs> I don't take that lightly. The like white pizzas or whatever you call them. So I really don't know why we bought this, but here we are. So we're gonna spice it up. I may regret this. Here's some old pizza sauce. All right, she still looks good. We're gonna, can you even see? No. Is this what you're supposed to do? Nah. Okay, Jack, but we're doing it. Cause last thing I checked, I don't want pizza with just marinade. Uh, Alfredo sauce, and then I'm gonna take some regular cheese. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have done this at the start because the cheese is frozen. I don't want this cheese to burn. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, I wish I had pepperoni, I don't. I do have frozen pineapple. Bub, do you want pineapple on it or do you think that's weird? Save this for the end. Chicken pizza. It's kind of weird, I guess. Because it's chicken pizza. Alright, well, we're gonna pop her in the oven 22 minutes and see what happens. Alright, do you see what I see? I see a mediocre orange garland, but I love it. I think you can tell I haven't done a lot of them, but like, also kind of cool. Now that I'm thinking about it, it would be pretty to like hang two down the sides. So maybe that's what I'll do next. But hey, leave it, leave it be. But I decided I'm gonna make an outdoor garland with these like bean things. Well, they're not beans, they're like little, why can I not think of the name? But what are these called? Like little berries, berries. And I'm gonna make it for outside. Okay. 
All right, guys, it is 12.40 now. Nick and I are getting ready to go work out in our respective areas. I'm just gonna work out in the backyard because that's I don't need anything from the gym. Um, and he's gonna go to the gym because they have a pool and obviously we do not have a pool. But we just ate some pizza, so we're letting our food settle. Um, I am moving over some wash since we're gonna be out of town starting tomorrow, no, Friday. So I have today and tomorrow. I'm trying to just, you know, I don't like to leave the house a mess, especially because we have someone staying here to watch the dogs. Delicate, wrinkle control, delicate, I guess. Uh, okay, sure. Um, so I'm just washing towels right now. We also, I'm slowly decorating for Christmas. Um, I've put up a little bit the past week. But we have a lot, like I have an insane amount of Christmas towels, like hand towels, which is great because I love a good festive towel in the kitchen, but I'm throwing those in as well. And then I'll have to do laundry later, but let the ever. So uh, I'm about to take the dogs outside with me when I work out um, so they can get some more exercise. Like these are my towels I have right now. These are my favorite. I got them like two years ago at um, TJ Maxx. All right, who knew there was gonna be an unboxing in this video? This is a surprisingly quick package. That's why I was not expecting it to come. But um, Nick literally just walked out to go to the pool and he knocks on the door because he had like locked himself out, him out, obviously. And then I go over there and he has a package and it's this order from Saks Fifth Ave that I placed like literally 48 hours ago. So let me show you. Uh, our, we have a credit card that has like, um, one of the like benefits is that twice a year they reimburse $50 from Saks Fifth Ave, which is like so random. And I've never had shopped there a day in my life. Um, but I was like, why not? That's like a free $100 a year. So twice a year, well, I guess like first half of the year, we alternate. So last time Nick bought a hat from Polo, um, like, um, what's it called? A bucket hat. This year, I was like, I don't know what to get. Anyway, sorry. This time around, not this year, I didn't really like have anything to get. And like it had, they had these like cool shoes that were on sale. Cause I didn't want to spend more than $50. Cause I'm like, I'm not like, I'm just trying to get my benefit, you know? So anyway, uh, they shipped it in two orders, I think. But, like, look how fancy this packaging is. Saks Fifth Ave, white paper, black tissue paper. And here's the one half. Um, it's the... Look at me. What is this brand called? Oh, Charlotte Pilbury. It's okay, me. It's, like, a small version of their airbrush flawless setting spray i needed new setting spray so i was like perfect and then the other thing i got which i actually needed and i was gonna buy on our trip to new york so i was like might as well buy it online is um eyebrow gel but it's the anastasia beverly hills one because i've been i've been using the glossier 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 one but it doesn't hold my eyebrows in place i don't like that oh my goodness cute okay i feel fancy this was a nice surprise Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Okay, lovely. Let's go work out with these two guys. Okay, it is now 2.13. I just finished my workout, it was really good. Um, and then I was listening to a podcast, so I didn't vlog, plus it was kind of gross, but I picked up all the dog poop. And we do that like every week, but we have like a dog sitter coming and somehow I'll sit out there with Nick for like 10 minutes and search for dog poop. And then as soon as I tie up my bag and throw it in the garbage, there's like more. And I'm like, how did I miss this? So like I did laps and I think I got it all. Um, so I threw that away. I took out the trash cans and then I had some foliage that I filled up my wreath with like some actual, like a little, some pine needles had like fallen like a little branch of them so i took them home and i put them in my wreath and yes now i'm here now we're inside so 
Sorry, I'm incredibly thirsty. So, in any event, I think I'm gonna finish up these dishes, make Nick and I's protein smoothie. It's the one he makes every day. But I've been having some of it with him now. Um, so we make extra, so I'll make that, and then we'll see what we're gonna do. There was something else I was thinking. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, order stamps. So we'll see what stamps I get. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat the, I mean, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna drink my organic valley chocolate milk that I got at Chipotle a few weeks ago because I got a kid's meal for work. And I was like, I don't want any of this soda. So I got a chocolate milk so I could save it. And look at me now, thriving with my chocolate milk. Mm. Mm. It's okay. It's not the uh, true meal. It's okay. But we're going to drink it. Tank is licking his... I don't know, but he's staring at me real suspicious. Hey, gay. Keep it together, man. Guys, I wanted to show you. My Christmas decorations are coming out. Ow, I feel like there's a mosquito biting me. I'm only a morning person on Christmas. Not true, but adorable. Just washed and ready for hot chocolate. You know what I should have done? I've been wanting hot chocolate, but I don't really like to drink like a lot of sweet things. Like I don't like to drink a lot of soda and stuff if I don't have like a real... Like, I don't know. I'm weird about certain drinks. Says the girl, drinking chocolate milk. I should have warmed it up, put some marshmallows in it. Hmm. Whatever. Better luck next time. All right. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this. I probably did. In the um, mindset of us trying to finish all of our food before we go to New York so that we can grocery shop when we get home, because I tend to like to hoard food. Not not hoard, but like, I'll be like, yeah, we needed this box of pasta. And then I won't want pasta for like four months. Right? And then each week we got to get more groceries so we get what we want that week for dinner. So I have pasta. Or like that freezer pizza we ate for lunch. Or like last night, like a, the random can of Spam that like we should have got more because we should have eat it. Whatever. So found this one old lemon. We're going to dry it out so that I can add it to my garland. I'm sure he's fine. Sorry. I'm like really thirsty. I'm sure he's fine. But he's just a little knobbly and I don't want lemon water. So we're going to dry him out. Let's do it. Oh my god. I made the whole protein smoothie before realizing that we in fact ran out of protein yesterday. Yeah. Completely out. Oh brother. Well, hopefully Nick's in the mood for just a smoothie. Cause it's uh, coming right up. Wow. Sorry. Um. Anyway, I was saying. Well, in case anybody wants his smoothie recipe, it is three cups of almond milk, unsweetened vanilla, a tablespoon of honey, and like a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter. Um, a large handful of baby spinach. Um two bananas, and like a cup of blueberries. Yum. And then he blends it all, or sometimes I do it for him because it's like, you know, thoughtful. What? So if I have time, I'll make him a smoothie and I'll put it in the fridge, but because it's like the same every time. Whereas if I make a smoothie every day, I want something different and I like frozen and thick. He likes like liquidy consistency. And um, blend it all cup of protein not like I don't know if it's equivalent to a cup but like the scooper that's in there and then re-blend it on like low medium and there you go delicious all right guys look what I just did okay so I found these really cute prints and I wanted to go ahead and go print them at Walgreens which is what I normally do um if I have like something to be printed uh because they have like Walmart photo I mean Walgreen photo and they always have like really good like promo codes so you can get it pretty cheap but I'm kind of cheap and I didn't really feel like spending unnecessary money uh, where I don't have to so I just printed them on my printer and because you know how you always see those girls or like those people on TikTok who like I just saw another day where it was like 
I'm gonna be making core memories for my kids. I'm gonna repaint my front door every season. That's awesome, but I'm not gonna do that. Or like people that change their like literal on the wall art. I don't have time, money, resource. Do I really wanna be doing that all the time? So I'm just gonna print off some cute prints, put it in my pre-framed things around the house. And my house is small, so I'm not gonna add more things. I'm just gonna replace little bits, I think. We'll start with these two and we'll see if we want to add another. Let's try. All right, first idea. How do you like these? They were gifted to me by um, M, my brother's wife. So I like, they're really cool. Um, sorry, Tank, this has been like off kilter anyway for so long. I'm just gonna stick this guy right in there and I'll put Tank back uh, January 1st. All right, technically I need a better backing and it's not perfectly centered, but okay, cute. All right, I'm thinking this there also yes there's giant unpainted patches in my bathroom they've been there since we moved in so after a while you just start to ignore them so that's what i recommend for all of you guys just ignore it because i'm probably not gonna paint it all right she's a little bit off centered i think but like debatably not really uh i literally took the um whale painting flipped it over so that it would be a backing for this because it's much smaller because I printed it out of my printer. I think that looks nice. Let's hang it. All right, you're literally on my shower cap holder. Here's a fun game we're gonna play. How long will it take Nick to notice? Lovely man, you know, really caring, sweet. He does care about what's in our house, but also really oblivious. You know, he's just in his own world, which I respect. But let's see, it's like 3.40. Let's, he's about to get home, he just parked. Let's see how long it takes him to notice. All right, I'm really on one now. We got a new printer. It was gifted to us by someone in the neighborhood. It's the exact same brand and type as the one that we have had for the past like four years, but it's newer. And I'm about to try to hook it up. I hate printers. But in my mind, the one we have right now is great only works on Nick's computer. It's so confusing. So I'm like, let's try out this new one, see how it is. If it doesn't work, I will give it to someone else in the neighborhood. Fingers crossed. All right, it's 4.13. We're on to our next task here. Nick uh, is showering, so let's see if he sees the, the new addition. And I am admitting to myself that I have no more room in this house for plants and these guys need to be planted. I've been propagating them for a long time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and gift them because I'm gonna be out of town anyway for the next few days and they're really out there. It's, real, it's time, okay? So let's package these up because some neighbors are coming to get them. All right, got them all packaged up to go outside so that they're safe till their new owners pick them up tonight. One lime is done, the rest are still cooking. Never gave you the update of the printer. Mm -mm. Turns out the reason someone had given it away in the first place was because something happened in it and you need to like call the Canon people. I didn't buy this, I don't have a warranty. I don't know when this was purchased. I'm not gonna call Canon. So. Another bad printer experience in the books for me. Hello vlog, it's me, the only person that does this vlog. Um, let me catch you up because it's now like, what time is it, Bob? 7.43. Nothing has happened, but I just didn't vlog because we were relaxing and then um, I made some dinner. We had breakfast for dinner because once again, we're trying to finish everything. So we finished some bacon and um and we finished up some of the hash browns that were in the freezer and now i'm making some thanksgiving cookies well we watched a lot of duck dynasty and just relaxed and honestly it feels good to relax so good for us um we watched some duck dynasty and now i'm making some thanksgiving cookies whoa um i was gonna maybe consider gifting them to like neighbors and such but um, I didn't have enough butter for a whole serving, so I'm making a half. So I think I'm just gonna have it here tomorrow and then give it to, um, save some to give to our dog sitter. Like, to 
say thank you for coming over so close after the, the holiday. So I'm making, um, I went through a lot of cookie recipes because I like baking, but I did not feel like let it rest for two hours and then roll it up and then add this ingredient, let that rest and then proof it and the, no, no. So I'm making harvest um, chocolate chip cookies. So it's like, it's like a blended colors kind of. So I got my regular color, which kind of needs more chocolate chips, red and yellow. Let's see how this goes. I don't know about you, but I like a chocolatey chocolate chip cookie. So, oh, Bob, you know what we should do? Hook up the Mario Kart. Let's see how we can stop that. Mario Party? Mario Kart? Do you want? Yeah, let me put these, cause that'd be fun. All right, now you're just like listening to us talk, so I'm gonna go.